I'm like, okay, yeah, I think I'm over it. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about praying in your car. I don't know if you go on long journeys, I do. Sometimes I have to drive very long place, places. <laughs> I have to drive long places. I have to drive there so that I can learn to talk English good. So sometimes I have to go on long drives to places, two, three, four hours, and uh, often it's on my own. And then I get there and I do something and then I turn around and I drive back. Hopefully not on the same day. And that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time to be sitting in a car. And I would like to be able to pray during a lot of that time. I don't spend the whole time praying, of course, but I do like to be able to pray. Um, and I've found a few ways, and there's one in particular I want to share with you about how I've found a, just a really great way to pray that really works for me. We'll see, maybe it works for you. The key to it is getting yourself a good talk. Get a good talk. So what do I mean by that? is somebody that you find like uh, maybe a spiritual talk a homily like some speaker there's piles and piles and piles of them out there maybe a podcast you really like but something that you when you've listened to this person before you will find that there's lots of thoughts in there that stop you and make you go oh that's really either interesting or i really like that that's the thing we're wanting some sort of a talk that typically will have that kind of effect on us. I realize you, you don't know if a talk's going to touch you that way before you listen to it, but you can get to know certain speakers or, you know, it could be an audio book, you know, an author that typically has that effect on you. Okay, so this is really simple. You're driving along and you keep your eyes open, eyes on the road, and you hit play on your talk. And I just listen to the talk until I go, oh, oh, that's a great point. That's it. That's the thing you're looking for. That means the Holy Spirit is doing something, seriously. And then you hit pause. Okay, you with me so far? Good, I know this is super simple. And then I, yeah, like I've talked to you before about praying, I will just, rather than just passing on over this point. So it's like when I'm reading a book and I like, uh, I like a certain point that's made, I might underline it or I might take notes. Go, oh, that's a great point. And then I move on and I don't stop. I don't stop to use this word this idea as a conversation starter with specifically with God and that's what I would like to propose to us is that these things that engage us are invitations to us to engage with God so I'll be listening to my talk and then there's some thought in there that just it could be as simple as anything but if I find myself responding to it in some way liking it being fascinated by it I will pause the talk and then I'll just, I'll talk with God about it. I will engage with him. I won't just in my head underline the idea by going, mm, oh, that's a great idea. Now let's l listen to the next idea. Because sometimes I feel it can almost be like a, like a spiritual binging. I'm like eating it, but I'm not really savoring it. I'm not actually hungry. I'm just, oh, um, 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 in the spiritual sense of all these cool ideas. But I don't really stop and enjoy them and it's not just about enjoying them which is a good thing and it's in and of itself but enjoying them with god these are typically you know depending on the topic of the talk they're typically things that are about god or his kingdom or about our own hearts or it's the perfect topic to stop and talk to him about it you could even do this with the bible you can get like audio recordings of the bible and you can listen and as soon as something strikes you or touches you you just hit pause and then talk to him about it. And often my talking to God about it consists of something like, mm, I really like this thought. That would be me doing the, the act of enjoyment. It's, an, it's actually, actually a thing. It's not just an emotion. I have to make a decision to savor. Now, what's this connected to? This is connected to the emotion of love and the act of love. Those two things are different but related. The emotion of love is to, it's the recognition, not on the intellectual level, but on the, the emotional level, that something is good, or something good about it. My favorite example is ice cream. It's like, ooh, you see someone with an ice cream, oh, that looks so good. Okay, I'm giving vocal expression to an emotion I'm feeling. And that then moves on to the emotion of desire, and then if we eat the thing, the emotion of joy. Okay, but this first one of love, the emotion of love, is this experience this emotional experience of recognizing the goodness of something. Okay, it's exactly the same, guys. Same internal movement with an idea. Somebody says something in the talk and you go, oh, oh, interesting. I never thought of that before. Or, oh, that's so beautiful. 
or, oh my gosh, that's really challenging. All we need to do is make the decision to then turn it into the act of love. Go, oh, oh, I like that, God. I like that idea about your heart. I love your heart. I love this truth about your heart, you know, that kind of thing. And then you start to just talk to him that sort of a way because you're already in that place of, like you would be with a, a, if you're talking to a good friend and you're just enjoying them. You enjoy the conversation and the connection and the way they are and whatever else. That's all part of the experience of actually loving somebody. It's enjoying them. It's like, oh, you're good. There's something about you that I recognize is good. And I love it. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Let's not go weird. So sometimes if I'm talking, talking to a talk, I'm listening to a talk, I'll just interrupt them constantly. <laughs> It can take me hours sometimes when I'm on these journeys. I Like a one hour talk, I won't even be finished the talk because I've stopped it so many times. And sometimes this stop, these stoppages and these engaging with God and responding to the goodness that I've just heard in the talk, that can take a long time because I'm just going to do it until I'm done. Until I, I'm like, okay, yeah, I think I'm over it. <laughs> so I'm going to press play again on the talk and see if I get another nice idea. And that's basically what you do. And you can use that same principle then for your, your prayer time in the morning or whenever it is you do your prayer time. That's what we're looking for is uh, we're, we're looking to see God. We're all about contemplating him, which means to look at him. And we look at him in order to see who he really is and who he really is is lovable. He is love. So when we find an idea and a thought about God in any context, in a car, out of a car, wherever. We just need to pause and enjoy and love him and respond and let our love grow. Love don't, won't grow just by sitting there, just by going, oh, that's a nice idea. Let's move on. We actually, we have to engage. We have to use the muscle. Love is like a muscle, as, it, as is our will. It's like this muscle of the soul. We must use it if we want it to increase and grow. So that's one way that I have found to be tremendously helpful. And I get to the end of my, my trip and I am buzzing. I am so refreshed. I'm so much closer to God. It's almost one of my favorite things to do. Is, is a trip like that on my own, to be able to listen to a good talk, get inspired, but not just get inspired, to express that inspiration and that love to God. There you go. All right. Bless you. Bye. I hope that was helpful. And I didn't know that this camera actually zoomed in when I came close. That's so, I think it does. Anyway.